Hey guys, it's me Luis again. So today we have this the 01 07 Dodge. No, no 07, 2004 is the old body stuff. Okay, we have this baby here. We're gonna replace the windshield, it's the old body stuff. Remember our moldings besides the truck is dirt. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You see the gasket? This one always the Dodge has the same problem with the doors right there. Always. Especially when it's aftermarket. It's too high there. But I mean this is the big problem here. So what will happen with this truck? Alright, so let's start here. So I am I I just can't imagine my arms, you know the lift arms maybe they are not good anymore. It's too old. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they don't work. It's very heavy, so I'll try to get one of these and secure it. too much you're gonna hear me too much but it's not a big deal all right so let's start working here we need this one we need I'm not gonna put my stuff here because maybe it's gonna just blow the air all school all school okay So it's the old car, we're gonna use old techniques. Okay, and one more in this corner. This one, I, have, I, I thought I would just have to clean all the dirt. It's a lot. It's got air from the dog. Man, I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna put my stuff there. Cause it's gonna just mess my my blankets, my covers, everything is gonna stick with those little air dogs over there. So I'm not gonna even go inside. No, 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 no. It's very bad. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Alright guys, let's gonna put this mold in here, you see? You see my you see the hair for the duck? Come on. It's a lot. I'm not going. I I could just black. It's gonna stick on my clothes and it's gonna look very really bad. So I'm not going into this car no matter what. Alright. So let's now take our cow. Remember this one has um does the old style uh arm, you know the wiper arms. It's a little old style like the four Chevys. You can just pull this one up right there, let it down. Oh, you gotta just go like this. Up. Let me just get my step because it's a little higher here. Man, I feel sorry about the detail, guys. They're gonna clean this truck inside, so that's gonna be a lot to clean. Okay. You have at least those one, uh, those uh, arm, you know, wiper arms when the hood is down. But I have the security, so I, I don't want to just take them off, back. That's why I'm working. Okay. 
good. You see, this one, when the hose is really big, this one works really nice. Alright, so we lose this one. We have just two bolts, uh, screws over in the corners. I'm going to use my drill here. I mean, this, this kind of screws they can change. Sometimes it's coming on this model, they come with the fillet, and another model is coming with the torque, so it's gonna be different. Man, I start feeling allergies for the, the, all the air ducts inside. I'm a lot under allergies, those kind of air ducts, so I start feeling bad. have the gravity stop so it's gonna be easy so I'm gonna put this one down now just careful ah and we go you know <clears throat> the old school man I thought they had a shotgun but it's an umbrella my place so I don't have anyone here you see all the rush right there so I have to primer do a framing it's got a lot of rust here already rain coming tonight ah. big one so now what I'm gonna do and I don't want to go inside man I start getting allergies with that air dog <coughs> it's too much <coughs> and I hate when the cars are like this one <coughs> They give me allergies, very bad. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my WRD, you know, the pull fiber handles. Uh, let's see, they're here. Remember, I used this line for the last, whew, I think more than probably 20 glasses already. So it's still working. So that means you can reuse your line many, many, many times. No problems. Uh, so we have to 
do is you the wire Now remember, still got some glue and some areas on the top. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut it with my wire. This one is the big one, so it's gonna be a little problem here. What I'm doing, let me just stuck this one right there. Okay? So just stuck your handle in any place. It's not gonna make any problem or damage. It's just because I already cut the top, but I don't have enough <coughs> wire. It's already inside. So remember, this, the only way we have to cut is the middle of the glass, so you can go. Now it's time to pass this one over here. Remember, we cross the lines. There you go. All right. This is only you don't have a nothing of like a just like a wire. Remember safety glasses, okay? All the time. All right. So this is just the old school, okay? Just using a wire. Okay, you can just use your extractor. You can use a cord. Whatever you want to use is the same thing. I'm just showing you how to do it. Just you know, using a cut knife and wire. Or maybe just a wire but that one is going to be really hard just go to the corner so just only for the bottom okay all right this is the heavy ones there you go. Oh. now remember all this is possible because this wire is not the round this is the square you have the wrong, the wrong, you know, like a road wire is not gonna make that cut. It's gonna be really difficult. So, but that design they call a um, um, square wire. That one cut like, you know, knife on the butter. So it's better you you can have one of those because that one is really helpful. When you have problems with the seal on the bottom or you don't want to just stress this part with the blades or razor blades or long knife extractor especially this one because this one is easy to crack so you want to don't, don't touch that part you can use the wire you see all the saw cuts coming that way and this way so no damage the track is bad but i mean that doesn't mean i'm gonna just screw or damage more the car so you see the saw cut all right guys so i'm gonna clean i have to just treat that one i gotta just sand it buffing get the bare metal and just put primer and come back okay it's gonna take a little while so i have to write back when i almost ready to set i'm gonna use just the suction cup not anything else so it's gonna be the old school okay so see you next okay guys so after more than six minutes so we have to wait the primer dries i have to uh, you know clean the area i got it buffing cleaning and just primer now the problem is you see how high is the contamination than the rush before so we have to just go too high you see even the lamination pin is right here so the only i can do to don't look uh, i mean the truck don't look really bad in that area on the top because you know when the customer buy the truck they're expecting something nice so if i just leave the glass because this one is exposed age it's not going to look good and the customer is going to complain about it okay so what i do I have two choice i can just notch the corner with the molding 107 but maybe it's going to be too big or the 105 or 101 the problem is it's going to be too low so it's going to touch my gravity stuff and it's going to just show the bin number too low so it's going to look like the bin number is hiding a little bit so i, I don't want to do that because it's going to you know make the glass look worse so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the marshall lane the underneath molding just a little piece it's going to help it's not going to cover it all but it's going to just you know looks uh, between something you know not really bad okay so i'm going to just buff this one <coughs>
heavy heavy grease was on this glass maybe the guys in the warehouse they're eating taquitos or, or I don't know a burger or something but it was very heavy grease so I have to do this or it's gonna just stick that grease on the glass for long all right this one is the last time I have to wash it no more or it's gonna be a con uh, hygiene contaminator so we have to just go like this all right Now remember, only the uh, products approved by the manufacturer adhesives, like the glue, Zika, they recommend just G, uh, GC800 and other cleaners, but nothing like, people sometimes they uh, suggest another cleaners, but we don't know about the chemicals, they're gonna affect the glue, the, you know, so that's why we cannot use all the chemicals we want, because I can use maybe on grease products coming from the stores, but we don't know, that one is gonna just destroy the glue, so, with the you know with the assistance they're gonna stay on the glass so just better use what the manufacturer's adhesive says okay let's go There's many products on the market but you don't know they are safe you see when you pass the cleaner it has to be like this black no fingerprints no marks nothing it's gotta be just clean and that's when you say the glass is already clean we know anything of the grease or something and this one was really heavy they put a lot i know the guy was eating something greasy but it was really bad in a warehouse I think that kind of control has to start on the warehouses because they are they are not wearing any glasses it's just they using their bare hands and you know they sometimes contaminate the glass very bad you see it has to be you see black black there you go you see black no marks no finger sprints nothing like a little straight lines nothing it's gotta be just Dissipation, you see black and coming get. That's the goal. Oh. Okay, now what I'm doing, I have to make a mark because I don't know the place where the molding is gonna be. So usually, it's go right here. Okay, I made my mark. But I have to remove the market because the chemicals, we don't know it's going to affect the glue. So that's why you cannot even lift that kind of glue, uh, I mean, the chemicals on the glass. Hey, this is going to be, remember, it's a PUGM 7. Uh, Marcy just handled the names, uh, the numbers 10, uh, 7, something like that. So it's going to be one reel and it's 11 by 32 so it's nice because you're going to stick it right here so using your mark and sometimes when you use this kind of system moldings uh, they're going to just reduce the uh, chains to have a wind noise because sometimes the cars have a wind noise because the glass uh, trap the air when they're driving and they start whistling so because there's nothing in that little space between the body and the glass and that make it windows. A lot of complaints for the dealership and new cars with the windows is problems. Especially when it's after market features. OEM, I don't think they have a problem, but when you install aftermarket, anything can make a noise. But the quality on the glass is not the same, so talking about the details, the finish, because the specification is coming from the same thickness, color, size, but sometimes things change. Money. All right. 
Okay, we fix that one later. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure the molding is attached nice. There we go. And we're gonna use our <coughs> P2G prime list. Now I'm pretty sure this one works really nice because I already test in one car. I, I came back and redo it and I saw by myself the glue attached very really nice. So that's what I like this glue now. Before I was a little, you know, aseptic about this glue because I always use primer. But now I'm 100% sure it works. It works really nice. But the key is clean the glass when you use primer list. If not, it's going to make a problem with the, with the glass later. Okay, where's my blaze? Where I left all my blaze? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, the bead has to be not too high, but enough. There you go. Remember, we go old school. Your suction cups and that's it. I can breathe really nice. It's just to go close in that truck with the air ducts inside just made me feel sick with the allergies. <sighs> Up to the tangle, that one is for the stop, gravity stop. This one too. If you line, you can go more low, it's gonna just show up with it. Okay, so this is a little heavy. I don't want to lift this one, so I'm going to just put a little bit right here. It's not going to hurt, it's just I don't want to lift this one in this tubing anymore because tomorrow it's going to be dry. Okay, now I'm going to just put this straight. You see, I just used this one in the morning for the porch for the 911, the 1995, and you see it's very dry, so it's very fast. This one. We're gonna just make it a little more smooth, like you make the cake right there. And this one I don't want to just show up inside, so what I do is just make it right there. Alright, so we're ready to set. Now it's gonna be a heavy, yes. Is it windy? Yes. But that's not big deal. Now, I think you already saw another guys when they put the windshields on, they love to open the door, right? They grab the glass like this, they go on top like this, and they set the windshield on this way. I mean, it's a nice technique, but I want to use guys see grabbing that one. First, it's going to be really difficult to go on top of that, but it's more difficult because I set the windshield and the glass. Those guys put the glass, I mean the glue on the body. So that's why they can do that. I want to just invite just to do the same like just on the glass. And they're gonna see it's totally different. But it's really easy. Okay, the wind is coming this way, so we're gonna just hit the wind in front. Come on, just bring it to me, baby! <laughs> Okay, soon I just turn, it's gonna just hit, okay? Right there. You see, it just has to control. There you go. Hi. There you go. You see, my arm is already there. Okay, I have to just reach the bit number. Put the triangle right there. Set the other side and let it go. Alright. There you go. Here, even I don't touch the gravity, stop already. You see, I just put it over the quarter, a little bit like 16. You see, I'm in a place. You 
see? I even don't, don't touch the gravity stuff. I got a room here and my finger the same like that way. <coughs> you see the seal is fit very nice. And you see my molding is gonna help me just to cover those scratches. I mean, I didn't do it, but the, the paint is coming off and I have to pre uh, primer. So you see that one, push it down. And it's gonna make a nice, nice cover of those. It can, even it's gonna stop the lamination so that's a very nice option for you you see I'm not touching even my strap stuff so because if I use the 105 or 107 it's gonna touch this one I have to take them off and you see I'm not using any and even I got a room it's not even touching my gravity stuff so I don't have to use tapes I don't have to use nothing as you have to trust in your job knowing the tape People think just a piece of tape is gonna do the job, and that's not right. Who's doing the job is the glue. Another tape. All right, and you see, it's covered all the nice. This one is too high, so nothing I can do. But there you go. This one is gonna prevent get a wind noise because when the wind hit the truck like this, it's not gonna trap it. It's gonna just make internal air and go up because that gap is gonna catch the air later and make a whistle knowing all cars do the same but some of those customers report all the time when they're driving this model exactly this model oh, i mean this air i don't want to go in so when they are just driving they report this car has a wind noise right here on the gasket and many people put a little piece of gasket in here because they think it's the wind noise coming from the door can be because the latches sometimes they go on these little pins right here they start to be loosened so that's one but the second one can be the water strip like you see this one is because the door is coming high it's going down and catching this one so that's the problem with the door let me show you you see it it's moving like this you see that because the latches they are very bad on these ones so it's two things it can be wind noise because the door the latches or can be the molding but always people report windows with these cars and this model I remember that because I did a lot for Dutch uh, dealerships and they not with my jobs but people complain about the windows and when they call I say just check the latches and check the, was the water strip and they check it nobody else call again but sometimes I do this all the time put a new molding on top and they cover the edge okay guys so that's all for me you know the process already you saw it so I don't have to just run the old things you already know so I'm gonna continue I have a Honda Pilot 17 so it's five o'clock no more than five probably six I'm gonna be done probably by eight o'clock today it's that. okay guys I'll see you the next